everybody, Pam with Normalized Cloth here and today is day three of the flats and hand washing challenge and the sun is out. It's kind of chilly this morning actually, but I don't even care because it still feels better today than it has the past three days. <laughs> so it's been raining since pretty much Saturday evening or Sunday here. So it's, I'm thrilled to finally have some sunshine. So my diapers didn't, the flats actually dried and my covers didn't. So they're actually outside trying to finish up drying because he's in his last cover. <laughs> Which, I mean, I can always tie a diaper on him or just kind of let him go naked a while or something. I'd rather not. All this rain, all these weeds are in my garden from all this rain. Today's topic is, what is my favorite flat fold? I never know how to answer that exactly because I have a favorite flat fold, but I'm not using my favorite flat fold. So I guess really the question is what's my favorite flat fold for this challenge? And in which case, I mean, if you've watched my stash video, you know I'm not using snappies or pins or boingos or bandies or anything. They really, the fold that I am using, because it's actually not my favorite, is the pad fold. I'm doing it with my son because he really doesn't need extra coverage or protection. That may change if he ever is in a situation where he runs out of covers. Honestly, like I, I'm just not a huge fan of pad fold. I use it a lot because it's functional, but when it comes to just using flats with covers, I am all about the mini kite fold and I will modify it to make the back tabs wider for my son. Here comes a big noisy truck. Every day. So, I'm using the pad fold, but it's not a standard pad fold. Let me just show you. So when I pad fold my son's flats, because he's a big boy, I pad fold it kind of a little offset so that it's a bigger rectangle. So I don't fold this part all the way over. So the thicker side is going to be the more absorbent side. It only makes sense, he's a boy, so this is going to be the front. And I just kind of fold it at a little bit of an angle so that the back is flared out. This way it is narrower in the front than it is in the back. And this actually works really well with catching poop and making sure it doesn't get on the cover. It has done phenomenally well as opposed to a standard pad fold which is, let me grab one, you know, just straight all the way across. Another thing is though, I do double up his flats for when we go out or when he goes to bed at night. And for that, I do actually use a standard pad fold underneath this like flared pad fold. And the reason being is that, especially when we're out and about, if he decides he wants to poop, it has a tendency to just stay on this flat because if this one was flared out too, it could come up to the edge or be poking out and then I'd have two flats with poop on it. So it's kind of nice. I mean, it keeps it all on there or when he's sleeping at night, I can actually fold this one in half and put that all right at the front and put that there because he really doesn't need anything in the back. But I actually kind of offset it a little bit so it's only kind of folded in the front. But that's what I do for nighttime. So while pad fold is not my favorite fold in the world, it does work and it eliminates the need for snappies or pins or boingos or bandies or anything. My son keeps going in and out of the house and it's incredibly distracting. So thanks for watching. Tomorrow I believe is wash routine and then open topic. I've got a whole lot of math for you. A lot of you have been really interested in seeing how hand washing compares to machine washing and I did a lot of research for that. Keep your eyes peeled for those videos. If you're interested in seeing those, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss those videos when they're posted. And don't forget that there is a giveaway for the Happy Behinds $10 gift card. The raffle copy link is in the description box below. <laughs> So y'all have a good day and I know I'm going to enjoy this weather so hopefully you guys are being blessed with good weather too. See you tomorrow.